Uh, our next segment is also a new one to the Let's Talk Football Roundtable this year. And it features the lovely Delilah Crespo. Take a look at this. That's right, folks. It's this day in NFL history. And we're going to throw it over to our host for this segment. <laughs> you know we're from Diversity with Delilah, which you can see on Sundays this fall. But for now, let's go to Delilah and this day in NFL history. All right. So it's not going to be exactly this day, but it is a notable time <laughs> in August in NFL history. And basically, on you know, on August 20th, 1920, we had the precursor of the NFL as we know it. So on August 20th, 1920, uh, that's when American football really got its big break. Obviously, there, p- football has been happening in this country since like the 1890s. But it was uh, this month, this day, and this year um, that the NFL got its hum- most humble kind of debut uh, in um, the Hupmobile Auto Showroom in Canton, Ohio. So basically, uh, all these like kind of professional uh, football leagues in Ohio kind of got together. Um, the Akron Pros, the Canton Bulldogs, the Cleveland Indians, and the Dayton Triangles. And they basically were the ones who kind of laid down the foundation of what would be the NFL. And so, like, kind of they came up with how you can create it into uh, more of a, a, a real league. And so they kind of came up with some of the rules that, uh, I guess, uh, oh, by the way, a notable name. Jim Thorpe, who I discussed during Diversity with Delilah, was one of the men involved in forming what would be the NFL. Um, And so they kind of said, like, look, we need to kind of make something lucrative out of this. It can't, it was all hodgepodge. I don't know if anybody's ever studied kind of football from the, you know, way in the 1890s, but everything was kind of hodgepodge. Everything was really kind of regional. People kind of went out. And so these guys were like, well, we should kind of have a set schedule. So that's kind of where they started to create a game plan. Let's create a schedule which would eliminate confusion between regions and states, um, banning poaching of players from other teams, um, an end of an end of season championship and uh, you know some sort of trophy. Um, the, the decisions that uh, players still on college teams wouldn't be signed to pro at the same time, right? So they, that, they were the ones who kind of laid the groundwork to what would be eventually the NFL. And so at this time, they called it the American Professional Football Conference, right? And it only had five teams, these teams that I said from uh, from Ohio, but they were the ones, this initial meeting that kind of set the groundwork for what would be the NFL today, right? Kind of, hey, let's create a schedule so that it's easier for fans to follow, right? The players, the teams. And so some um, there should be, again, like some championship. And so in August 1920, that's kind of the birth of the NFL, sort of. So it was a precursor. Remember this date because then in September, I will actually dive into the actual birth of the NFL (laughs) when they actually started forming and added more regional teams um, from other states and things like that. So kind of cool to know that in August, uh, that's the, the groundwork to what would be the National Football League was um played so anyway something kind of cool to think about and then uh, september i will kind of add a little bit more to that and what became what would be the modern nfl so that's what i've got thank you delilah that was a great segment Oh, there we go. Got my mic back on. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> but uh, we thank you, we thank you, Delilah, for that. Every week, people, we were catch this day in football history with Delilah. But uh, thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.